All right, all right. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out. I renamed my bike Brittany. So anytime anyone has to touch her, I can say, leave Brittany alone. Oh, it wasn't supposed to rain till six. What is up, guys? I am the Motorcycle Mick, and today we are talking about 2020 Harleys. They just got released, and really, I don't see much change. There is a CVO trike, there is the new Lowrider S, but what I want to talk about is my scooter's newer sister and boy they did some stuff to the heritage and i think they don't realize what they are doing but before we go into that if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button down below i upload every tuesday and thursday around three o'clock eastern standard time and my question to you guys though going back to our saying going back to you guys do you think they ruined the heritage it is a well-known fact on this channel that i absolutely hate a bunch of chrome I, it's it's not that it doesn't look good, it's just not my style, not something I like. But, Harley has went ahead, listened to all the older folks that got pissed out of, about the heritage, and decided that they were going to bring back the chrome. That's right, they brought back the chrome on the heritage. Not only that, they did not put any effort into anything else, and just leave everything else the same. They do have the... I, I think there's stainless steel fork sliders or forks on the bike, chrome handlebars, you know, the generic stuff that's quite easy. Same forks, just don't powder coat them. I have the chrome on there. But the big thing to me about this, and it might seem small to everyone else, but like to me it's a big deal. One, they're only offering the chrome in the 107. So for those who want the 114, they have to get the blacked out model. So why would you offer that? Someone's going to want the chrome. They're probably going to want in the 114. Otherwise, they're going to pay the extra. It was like 800 bucks. And two, they decided that they were not going to change anything else leather wise on the bike if you take a look at this picture of the bike right here you'll see that the leather seat still has the black studs and the saddlebag still had the black studs and that kind of pisses me off if you're gonna have a chrome bike you gotta have the chrome studs on the seat chrome studs on the back so they didn't and I don't know why they wouldn't go down that path because if they're trying to sell that bike as chrome, which I have no problem with. I don't like chrome, but on the Heritage, I think it can look good. Not that old round button stuff. Like, I don't, I don't like that BDSM looking stuff. But I think if they did the chrome studs like these on the bike, I feel like it w I would like it a lot better. But they didn't. They kept the studs on the seat black. They kept the studs on the saddlebags black. Honestly, with the weatherproofing issue and all the other stuff, I wonder if they actually updated anything or if they just decided we're going to take a chrome 107 and drop it in the bike and a bunch of other chrome. But in my opinion, I think the reason I don't like chrome on the Heritage is because back in the day, it wasn't about the chrome. So when you say Heritage, I would expect rolled steel on there. Maybe, you know, stainless. But I honestly would not expect to have that much chrome on a heritage i think for me it's if you if you look at chrome on the bike it, it should be on the deluxe that, that i think that was the whole intended purpose of the deluxe to have a nice decked out cool bike but no somewhere along the lines the heritage was instilled with chrome and then people decided that that was normal and then this whole divide was created between the old heritage and the new heritage because it doesn't have the chrome but what are they gonna like, start accepting the 2020s as heritages and now the 114 only comes on the blacked out model or as they want to call it like flat black along with that it looks like they're marketing a clear windshield they aren't putting the split windshield on it which uh, you know i thought i thought that was a cool way to pay homage to the old fl series motorcycles i think it really was but once again we are looking at people complaining about the bike and this like People are focused so much on the chrome on the heritage that Harley made a 107 version of the motorcycle again. Now I think that's kind of like a ha ha to them. It's like you want the chrome? Alright cool you get the 107 but the 114 comes in black. Something else I'm not really a fan of with the new heritage is I believe there's only like six paint schemes. One 
one of which is that orange and the cool black look to it. That only comes in the 114. Oh, that looks like a lot of rain. I feel like they're trying to push people to the black bikes because the 114, and we're going to get that water off of there for you guys. The 114 only comes in the blackout bikes. So if you want another one, it sucks to suck. Oh, why does it have to be so moist? Let alone, I feel like they did that with the 107 though because they're trying to, you know, if you're going to get a blackout bike, they're obviously going to want you to get the new lowrider s i feel like that's what they're really pushing for is they want people to jump on that new lowrider s but from my opinion there'll be another video but you know what they say you wouldn't believe it till you see it so we're gonna go check out real fast if they have one here look at that got a more curved windshield it's got the 114 Oh, look at those wheels. Those are just gorgeous. Oh, that's the 2019, but that 2020 looks sweet. I could have swore you guys had a 2020 Ultra Special here. Roguelite Ultra. Ew. I'm going to make one of my people I know jealous. Because he's looking for one. The new Ultra Limiteds. I think that's all they have for right now. Look at that blue, that seafoam green, ultra limited. That's cool. Electric lead standard. Bye, have a good one. You dropped the card. Oh, you can keep it. I got a bunch of them. They did not have the new heritage there yet. But I did get to see the new 2020 Street Glides where they kind of swept the fairing back a little bit. I mean, it's a sharper look, I guess. Kind of smooths it out, but I guess after, I don't know, 15 years since really like a major change, they really didn't do anything different, which I'm kind of let down by. I mean, come on. Rogue Glides look a little bit cleaner. They got the new audio systems, like, okay. And then, I mean, I know I got really distracted by the Heritage. I don't know why it bothered me so much, but I didn't get to see one. But going on to the other 2020 Harleys, there is the new, I don't like following people's tracks. There is the new 2020 Roguelite Ultra. I mean, and that's a big deal. Like the Roguelite Ultra was always that nice step before CVO and they haven't really had that in the past few years. So that's why I got really excited when I saw that because it's, a, you know, it's an Ultra. It's got a 114, the premium audio, tour pack, all the goodies. There is another bike I'm really excited about. Actually, there's two bikes I'm excited about, but they don't have those out there yet. That is a 2020 Lowrider S, and those are extremely cool. Like, those are extremely, extremely cool. But in my opinion, and this is just my opinion on this, I don't know how I feel about the Lowrider S form being on a soft tail. And there's a couple reasons for that, so don't judge me before you know what I'm going to say. The thing about the Lowrider S, which honestly speaking, they, they kind of already had that path set in stone for the Dyna S, or the Lowrider S. I keep wanting to say Dyna S, but it's not a Dyna. But they had that pass set in there for it because you have, you know, the street bob went to a soft tail, the fat bob went to a soft tail, and then they kind of went away from the other ones, and that kind of sucks. I mean, I think getting rid of the dinos was a bad decision just for the fact of they could combine it with the soft tails, right, and make one line. You could do it to some of them, but then you start adding weight to others. So, of course, we knew the lowrider S would be coming, but I feel like the problem with it is... It's like seeing that freshman and then seeing put on the freshman 15. So I think it's a really, really cool bike. I do. I think that the Lowrider S is a really cool bike, but I feel like seeing it is watching the Dyna get fatter. And I don't think that's, I mean, if they would have taken a form of it, like the Street Bob style, where, you know, kept it thin, kept that, kept that, yeah, blah, 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 blah. 
kept those fenders on there i think it would have been really really cool the problem i think we ran into is harley was kind of reminiscing versus looking forward also on the docket for the new bikes is the new cvo trike that i am super excited about because they're finally having a cvo trike but there is something they do need to make they need to bring out a road glide trike i think a shark nose trike would be badass i think that'd be cool they have not brought out a cvo soft tail And I don't know what that would entail in today's world. You know, just the way things are. But I feel like they could have a CVO soft tail and make it look badass. I mean, honestly, even I like a CVO heritage. And I don't know what they do with that. But I think the bike that they have that biggest opportunity with is CVO Lowrider S. I feel like that is something that they could definitely jump on board to i guess the fxdr is kind of a cvo bike because of just what it is but i mean like i want a real cvo bike harley did have the new street fighter and panamera there i feel like they were just like uh static display motorcycles it was just a display model whatever it is in the 2020 that they're gonna actually release those i think john maxwell said it wouldn't be till like august for the street fighter and maybe like early spring for the panamera but i hope it's sooner the one i'm really excited about there's been a lot of controversy is the live wire and honestly i feel like the people are missing the point of the live wire it's not gonna be a highway cruiser i know whatever people advertise it as or whatever they say you're not gonna go cruising for hundreds of miles on it just stop and get gas and go in the future you might be able to do that but in today's world you can't the whole point of the live wire is for the city it's supposed to be like a bar hopper have fun in the city but be able to charge it up at night and not have to spend all that money on fuel i mean that's the whole point of electric vehicles they're not necessarily meant for distance as they are time person that's going to buy that motorcycle is going to be someone that a lives in the city and spends a lot of money on fuel or doesn't really find a purpose to have something because of all the fuel that you'd have to spend it on that's hardly looking forward to their future but you guys i know that was kind of a little everywhere for the video but mainly with the heritage i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun making it i got a little moist how's it going man Got a little moist in the process. Can I say moist one more time? But since we've made it home, very, very moist, and my visor is fogging up to the point where I can't even see two inches in front of my face, I'm gonna end it there. Just like I hope this rain ends at some point. Dicks. But I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon tea, brunch, lunch, nightcap, wherever you are in the world. And remember to always ride for freedom. They say I'm not supposed to, but I make my own rules. Dog, this shit is old school. Yo, bitch, man, that's so new. She been on my whole crew. Yeah, that chick is ran through. Ha. This shit sound like old too. Pull up and I drop the roof, and that bitch a old school. These niggas acting brand new. I just keep it old.